Deciding on which hearing aids are right for you requires more than just looking at a hearing test. It requires a comprehensive audiologic evaluation and a careful consideration of your specific hearing needs. That's why in this video, I'm covering six key considerations when deciding which hearing aids are best for you. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. I constantly receive emails from people across the world asking me to look at their hearing test and tell them which hearing aids are best for them. The problem is, is that the hearing test is only a very small portion of what we use to determine which technology is right for you. And even the best audiologists in the world will not be able to make this recommendation based on the hearing test alone. And if they do give you a recommendation based on hearing test alone, I would not trust their recommendation. That's why I created this list of six key considerations that we can use to determine which hearing aids are best for you. Consideration number one is hearing loss severity. Okay, so my first consideration really is regarding the hearing test specifically, and the simple fact of the matter is is that you need to make sure that you have a device that is capable of meeting your amplification requirements based on the severity of your hearing loss. If you have a mild to moderate hearing loss, you generally have a wide range of options that are capable of meeting the prescription for that type of hearing loss. But if you have a moderate severe to severe or profound hearing loss, you might be a little bit more restricted on the type of devices that you can use because you need to make sure you get a device that is capable of providing enough power to meet the prescription for those types of hearing losses. Just because you have a severe to profound hearing loss wouldn't necessarily mean that you can't use a more discreet hearing aid option. You just need to make sure that the hearing care provider, when they're selecting the receiver of that hearing aid, that they make sure they get a receiver that is powerful enough to create the amount of power that you need for that hearing loss prescription. The severity and configuration of your hearing loss that we see on the hearing test will also dictate whether or not we need to use a custom ear mold for you. If you have a really severe hearing loss, you generally need an ear mold that can trap in enough of that sound that we are amplifying. On the other hand, if you have a configuration of hearing loss that requires us to adjust the vent size of the ear mold, we need to be taking that into consideration as well. We also need to make sure that your speech understanding ability is high enough for you to actually receive benefit from a hearing aid. Now, if your speech understanding score is a low percentage, then it might not warrant putting a hearing aid on that particular ear. And in these cases, we may actually have to recommend cross technology or even a cochlear implant evaluation. The bottom line is, is that if you are getting a recommendation for a hearing aid and you haven't had a comprehensive auditory evaluation, then that is a huge red flag and I would avoid that recommendation at all costs. The second key consideration is your speech in noise score. Something that should hands down always be added onto a comprehensive auditory evaluation is a speech in noise test like the Quixen. The Quixen test will give us a number and the higher that number is, the worse that we would expect you to perform in a background noise situation. If you have a bad speech and noise score, we need to make sure that we select hearing aids that are capable of giving you access to these other accessories that will help you hear better in background noise. For instance, a telecoil inside of the hearing aids or wireless accessibility to things like a Phonak Roger Pen or another type of remote listening device. Making a recommendation for a hearing aid without having a complete understanding of what your speech and noise score is will be a disservice to you down the road if you end up getting hearing aids that don't have access to these other wireless features. The third key consideration is your accessibility to a particular brand. Even if you find the perfect hearing aid, if that hearing aid can only be serviced at the place that you purchased it, then you are severely restricting your access to care. What happens if your hearing care professional retires? What happens if that company that you bought it from goes out of business? What happens if you go to an entirely different state and that state does not have a hearing care professional or company that can work with that particular type of hearing aid? The best hearing aid for you also includes this aspect of you being able to take that hearing aid to a different provider or to a different company to continue to get it worked on. You wanna make sure that you avoid locked hearing aids. Now, I made a completely separate video on what locked hearing aids are and why you should avoid them. I will link that video 
up here in the card and in the description below. The fourth key consideration is an understanding of your specific needs. There are a long list of questions that a hearing care professional should be asking you to determine which hearing aid features would be right for you. Anything from, do you have vision issues? Do you have finger dexterity issues? Do you have problem with talking on the phone? Do you go to movies? Do you go to the theater? Do you have accessibility issues to where you would need some form of remote programming so you don't have to go into your hearing care professional as often? All of these things should be identified during a thorough evaluation of you and your needs to determine which hearing aid features would be exactly right for you. Sometimes all it takes is one hearing aid feature to be absent in a set of hearing aids to give you less benefit from those hearing aids. So identifying all of these very specific things throughout a complete and thorough evaluation is the only way to determine if a specific hearing aid would be right for you. There is no single hearing aid brand or style that will meet the needs for every single hearing aid user. So that's why uncovering your specific needs is critical during a consultation process. The fifth key consideration is your lifestyle. The way that we determine which technology level is right for you is largely based on your lifestyle. It is not something that can be determined based off of a hearing test alone. It has nothing to do with the severity of the hearing loss that you have or the configuration of hearing loss that you have. That has nothing to do with the level of technology that would be required for you to have success with hearing aids. It is true that higher levels of technology will always give you the best opportunity to hear your best in a variety of different situations but if you flat out cannot afford higher levels of technology or you don't find yourself in very complex listening environments very often, then it may not necessitate you going with the highest level of technology. Lower levels of hearing aid technology can still give you a great amount of benefit. They just don't perform as well in a more complex listening situation. But what you can't do is just assume that you need the highest level of technology if you have a more severe hearing loss that is impossible to determine based off of a hearing test alone. And key consideration number six is, does your hearing care professional that you're getting your hearing aids from follow best practices? Even the perfect hearing aid when purchased from and fit by a hearing care provider who does not follow best practices will not result in the maximum benefit of those hearing aids. What are best practices? Basically, they are the fundamental things that a hearing care provider should be doing when recommending, fitting, and programming a set of hearing aids. These best practices include a long list of procedures which include but are not limited to a comprehensive auditory evaluation, a thorough needs assessment, diagnostic checks on your hearing aids to make sure that they are meeting manufacturer specifications, real ear measures or real ear verification, and validation outcome measures to determine your real world benefit with those hearing aids. The hearing care provider that you elect to get your hearing treatment from is even more important than the hearing devices that you decide to buy. This is why you should be spending as much time identifying the best hearing care provider for you as you are spending finding the right hearing aids for you. Hearing aids can dramatically improve your quality of life, but only if you select the right devices for you. Unfortunately, this process is more complex than most people realize, and it cannot be done by just looking at a hearing test alone. The good news is, is that if you follow these six key considerations, you will be able to find the perfect set of hearing aids for you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.